Hi, so today I'm going to be going over some two ball bounce patterns that you can try to make smooth and just for fun. I feel like as we start to juggle and learn different cascades, we always get stuck and we always want something a little bit more simpler and easier just to move along the progressions. So that's what this is and I hope you enjoy it and have fun with it and come up with new ways to link everything together. So today all you will need is any type of ball that bounces. This is a cheap dollar store ball. Um, you can probably order them online. It's just a bounce ball, like probably whatever, the cheapest thing you can get. This is a lacrosse ball, one, one step up from that. Um, it bounces a little bit better, so this is what I typically use. You can also look into some decent juggling balls and um, silicone balls, and those will work the best. Ground-wise, you want concrete or any of that, anything solid um, and hard. This is wood floor, but it's not that even, so it's not the best. So anything even, nice and solid will have a good bounce back. Let's get started. What you will need is two balls, and to know your basic, over, toss, pattern, going from your right and your left. Now with this, we're just going to play with the tempo and the rhythm of it and try to make it nice and even. Once you have that down, you're going to start with two balls in one hand and you're going to do a simple snake pattern. All this is is doing the same throw, but when you hear the bounce, you're going to throw the other one over. All right, so we have right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Now what we're going to get familiar with is our forced bounce, meaning we're just going to throw down and push it towards the center of our body. See the lift and overhand will want to go more towards the front of your foot. The forced bounce is going to want to go in the center of your body to make it to the other side. You're not going to want to throw it so far over because it will fly off that way. All right. For our next pattern, what we will do is we will throw over and under. So one's going to go over, bounce, under, bounce. Over, bounce, under, bounce. Same thing on the other side. Over, bounce, over, under, over, under, over. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get used to that. All right, now that we have that, Let's do two force bounces. We're going to force bounce one, and then remember, the second one is going to go underneath it. Under, 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 under. We're going to do the same thing we did with our lift bounce and just get used to going from side to side. Going right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. And then once you have that, we're just simply going to snake it. Same thing. Two in one hand. Right, right, left. Now with force bouncing, we kind of have control of the tempo and how fast and how hard we throw the force. So what we're going to do is just get used to that and control it. We can go nice and slow and then gradually start to speed it up. Alright, and there you have it. Those are some simple two ball tricks that you can make into a nice little pattern and have some fun with as you're starting to learn some bounce juggling. All right, so that's it. Um, now you have some two ball patterns to work on. If, I find them best if we are working on learning a new cascade or just to have something to relax to. Oh, one more thing, you can also do the sitting down or standing or whatever. It's just two balls. It's nice and slow. Try to just make it as clean as possible and try to speed things up and get everything nice and even and get a nice little flow going with just two balls. It can be very helpful. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I will see you next time. Thanks.